Luke chapter 11, Thursdays with Jesus. I want to return back to this chapter and pick up a reading in verse 37. Would you read it with me? We'll begin at verse 37 and read to the end of the chapter. It says, now when he had spoken, a Pharisee asked him to have lunch with him. And he went in and reclined at the table. And he's, the Pharisee saw it. He was surprised that he had not first ceremonially washed before the meal. But the Lord said to him, now you Pharisees, clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but inside of you, you're full of robbery and wickedness, you foolish ones. Did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But give that, with, give that which is within as charity, and then all things are clean for him. But woe to you Pharisees, for you pay tithe of mint and rue and every kind of garden herb, and yet disregard justice and the love of God. But these are the things you should have done without neglecting the others. Woe to you Pharisees, for you love the chief seats in the synagogues and respectful greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you, for you are like concealed tombs, and the people who walk over them are unaware of it. One of the lawyers said to him in reply, Teacher, when you say this, you insult us too. But he said, Woe to you lawyers as well, for you weigh men down with burdens hard to bear, while you yourselves will not even touch the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets and it was your fathers who killed them. So your witnesses unproved the deeds of your fathers because it was they who killed them and you build their tombs. For this reason also the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles and some of them will kill and some of them will persecute. So the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world may be charged against this generation. Verse 51, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah who was killed between the altar and the house of God. Yes, I tell you, it should be charged against this generation. Woe to you lawyers for you've taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter and you hindered those who are entering. When he left there, the Bible says, verse 53, the scribes and the Pharisees began to be very hostile and to question him closely on many subjects, plotting against him to catch him in something he might say. You know, brethren, in our reading this morning, Jesus, he lives little to wonder as to how he feels just about arrogance and hypocrisy, pronounces pronouncements of judgments after pronouncement of judgments against this pride group of, or prideful group of, of religious leaders. And Jesus says, listen, you hold others to standards you're not willing to hold yourselves. You do things for show, but it's not who you really are. You honor the very people you heal, the very ones you persecuted, you hypocrites. You're a hindrance to people coming to know their God. You clean the outside, but inside you're full of robbery and wickedness. And it begs the questions for all of us. Consider some of these questions. What are we most concerned with, brethren? How we appear or what we are? Do we make it harder or easier for people to come to Jesus? What are we most concerned with, the praise of men or, or pleasing to God? Uh, do we demand of others what we're unwilling to do ourselves? Do we elevate our traditions? Have we elevated our opinions to that of doctrine? Have we disregarded things such as justice and uh, the love of God? Some things to think about. Jesus says, woe to these people. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, for another day in your word, Father, we are so very thankful. Father, help us to be authentic. Father, help us to understand the danger of pride and hypocrisy. Father, help us to see ourselves as we are. Help us to understand, Father, that it's through your word that serves as this mirror that allows us to see. Help us to be honest and help us to change, Father, when confronted with truth, that there's error in our way. Bless us today, Father, with wisdom and courage to do these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.